Greetings on this feast of the Epiphany. Alleluia, the light of Christ has come into the world, and we are gifted with the ministry to go and share this light of Christ uh, in all parts. But actually today, as I bring you this message, I would first like to, for us to just begin at home, in fact, right where you are, and for you to consider the space in which you now sit, uh, probably which is in a building, a house or an office, and to just be mindful that you have a floor under your feet and a roof over your head and walls around you and a structure that keeps out uh, inclement weather and keeps you safe and protected from all kinds of things. And uh, if it's your home, it's a safe space that you get to come to each day and that you can rely on. If it's your office, it's a place you get to come to work and um, know the blessing of having a job. Um, as well, you know, we have wonderful sacred spaces, floors and roofs and walls in our churches, and we are blessed with many buildings in our own diocese that are well cared for and places of spiritual nurture, of safety, of protection, of growth, and of stretching. And if you are really blessed, you get to travel to many parts in the world and experience sacred space and lots of other wonderful buildings. And you've probably had the experience of being either in your own church or one where people have prayed for hundreds, if not thousands of years. And notice that the walls soak up prayers and the worship of God. And we call those places, whether they're buildings or even uh, outdoor spaces, liminal space, where God is known and present and we so easily feel God's presence. Sacred space is a huge blessing for us. But we aren't called to stay in our sacred space, and especially at this time of Epiphany. We are mindful of really um, our evangelical roots as Christians, that we are called to carry the light of Christ into the world. And on this Epiphany especially, I would like us to be mindful of Haiti. Uh, next week is the second anniversary of the earthquake, which has devastated that country. It is the home to the largest Episcopal Diocese in our church, uh, 90,000 members. 70% of their buildings, Episcopal buildings, were destroyed in the earthquake. We have been asked, and we are currently uh, having a campaign to raise money to rebuild our cathedral in Port-au-Prince, Haiti, a major sacred space in that diocese and for that community. It is the gathering place, it is the spiritual home of that diocese and those walls which held the prayers of people for a very long time lay in rubble now on the ground. And people live around that rubble and they are waiting for a floor and a roof and walls to be built that can gather them in worship and prayer and can also be a place where they are sent out in order to be the light of Christ in that place. Uh, as we move through this campaign, we all need to enjoy the fact that we get to turn on a light switch and there's light. We get to turn on a tap and there's water. We take for granted our safe and nurturing protective homes and our churches. And as we are mindful and grateful for our own spaces, we need to offer our money and our prayers to Haiti, not to rebuild the 70% of the buildings that have been destroyed, or to restore all the buildings that have been destroyed, but just to rebuild this one building. That's actually all we're asking. The request of the gift is just $10 per person in this diocese. Obviously, we're not going to get close to 15,000 uh, donations of $10, and so if you can give more, please do. Um, but please give. We would like to round off this campaign, actually, this month, uh, just to go ahead and get our donations in, be part of the church-wide effort to rebuild this cathedral in Haiti, our cathedral, our church home in Port-au-Prince, and we invite your participation. Thank you so much to George Lockwood and Liz Rondell and to our parish and our deanery coordinators who uh, are reaching out to everyone in our congregations to participate. So this epiphany, as you are mindful of the light of Christ within your heart, within your 
own homes, your office, your church. Please help us rebuild these walls for the people of Haiti. Thank you.